we have a lot of concerns in our community and they're right in our face all the time and I, we are working to address those at all times but the principles under which I work and that matter to me is that first of all we guarantee the rights of everybody we can't just guarantee the rights of one group for the sake of the rights of somebody else and in 2020 when we had protests it kind of really crystallized in my head talking to some people involved and say I can't violate their rights so you feel free to exercise your rights and as I worked on that argument with a number of people calling and complaining it really worked and it came to help other people understand and see what our role is as a department so wherever we can take action for issues like homelessness our drug problem where I work with the Columbia River Drug Task Force right now as their commander for the Wenatchee PD side we need to do all that we can within our legal authority to address these issues and to try to protect and prevent further damage in our community but at the same time we have to watch out for the things that not only add liability to a department or a city something i'm not averse to i'm all about walking to the edge and seeing what we can do but at the same time not exceeding that and getting ourselves in a trouble spot currently at the wenatchee police department we have a very healthy culture and we're a high functioning department but we can always improve I want to see, I want to build an environment uh, of approachability where the open door concept isn't just a concept, but all of our employees feel like they can truly take advantage of it and it is a reality for them. We have great staff that has great ideas and I want to work with all of them to push this agency forward into the future and find solutions to the problems that we're facing in our department or even in our community. And I want to foster a culture where every employee in, this, in the Wenatchee Police Department feels that they have a part and a vested interest, a personal stake in where we are headed and what we accomplish. Hiring right now is a real challenge in law enforcement. I want to see us focus young and focus locally. We need to start engaging youth and humanizing law enforcement with our youth. We need to help our youth identify a good path to take, a successful path to take. We need to help them learn how to make good decisions now so that later on, the decisions that they make when they're young don't have a negative impact on their ability to be successful in the future. We've been to this area a few times on vacation and fell in love with it because of all the beauty of the place, the way it feels and the way it makes you feel, and quite frankly, the friendliness of the community. Add on top of that, the reputation of your police organization and I will tell you folks, I work with a lot of organizations across the country through the International Police Chiefs. Your organization is doing it right. You should be proud of that because not everybody is. And if you're from the community and you're here, you should feel really proud of your police department. Uh, doesn't mean there are things to improve upon, but you've got a great foundation and you've had a lot of success and that's not easily earned. Dealing with issues of COVID and protests and unrest and people changing so much after uh, 2020. Uh, it's difficult to try and continue to lead forward, but you push forward because if you're like me, you look at the women and men that do the job on the daily, no matter if it's sworn or professional staff members, and you take pride in those victories. And at the end of the day, that's what we're here for. Police chiefs should absolutely celebrate those successes, everyday successes that the women and men of the police department do. Sometimes we don't do a really good job of that. Sometimes we're our own worst enemies and that we don't tell our story well enough at all. And we've got to do a better job of talking about those things.